Good afternoon everybody, David here, and this is another product review. And in this product review, we are going to be taking a look at the, the beginner's module from 13th Age called the Shadows of Eldalon. Now, uh, this is the physical portion of the review, and I just want to give you a few things really quick on the book as a softback, and it is printed in black and white. It is a 72-page adventure by Cal Moore, and uh, it also has a free map pack that you can download for free from the 13th Age website when you purchase the actual module, which is going to cost you uh, only $17.95. And when you purchase it, and uh, now take this into consideration, guys, and, and I haven't mentioned this on any of my other 13th Age product reviews. Now, when you get... 13th Age Pelgrim Press, they give you free PDFs when you buy all of their products. They basically include it in the price. Now, when you purchase, say if you purchase this Shadows of Eldalon book on eBay or on Amazon or some other third-party website, you will not get, and I repeat, you will not get a PDF. So, if you want the combo with the book and PDF, you have to buy it from Pelgrim Press you will open up an account and you will have a download manager that you will be able and I really like this about the Pelgrim Press website very nice they've just redone their site uh, and it has a very nice account management and it has all of the books that you've ever purchased all of the PDFs the map packs all of that good stuff ready for you to download at any time that you need it. So $17.95 to get the PDF, like I said, guys, you got to get it from Pelgrim Press. There are no little pieces of paper with a code for a PDF or nothing like that. You got to get it from Pelgrim Press. So 72 pages. It's printed in black and white. It's probably why that the, uh, the price is so cheap. It is a very well put together. Actually, they use the same paper as they do in the core book and all that stuff. The very high gloss, uh, thick weighted paper. I like it. It'll last you a long time. All right, everybody. This is the digital portion of the review. And we'll go ahead and take a look at every single page of the PDF, which I'm sure a lot of you would probably like to see. Now, the art it has a wizard uh, in a red robe. Now I'm not going to give you any spoilers, I'm just going to give you a few basic uh, things on what you you can expect from this adventure. Now the whole the whole plot, the whole story is basically there is a, a group of wizards that are in charge of making sure the lanterns are lit in Eldalon. Alright, and that is a big you know that's a big thing of the adventure uh, uh, a couple other things are uh, the story involves a, a wizard that found a book when he was in print in, in apprentice school it uh, deals with one of the icons uh, rituals were performed yada 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 and there are also some other mage schools that are involved in this too and that's all I'm going to give you uh, it's actually a really good adventure uh, it is for level one characters, and it is a very new GM friendly book, meaning uh, it doesn't go too much into advanced mechanics and stuff like that. But it does uh, give the the GM for this a lot of information and a lot of help on how to incorporate the icons into this adventure because you know the icons it's a unique mechanic that's usually not in in uh, many of of the other role-playing games out there and uh, this book actually helps the GMs out quite a bit uh, by being new now uh, it's a uh, it is pretty straightforward uh, it is pretty much a uh, here to here to here and they explain that in the book and this is pretty much the only adventure like that because 13th Age is all about being open uh, in having you know the free freedom to do whatever you want as players as a GM uh, with a lot of role playing and stuff but this is more uh, as a like I said a beginner's adventure uh, for both players new to 13th age and to GMs that learn the game so uh, as you can see it is in black and white and it is 72 pages and it has you know your introduction the overview it talks about how you know everything that I just pretty much told you uh, a timeline of of the adventure. Uh, it gives you a the actual 
town map is out along with uh, you know its geography, its location, all you know all of its locations, uh, the rulership, uh, all of the law, uh, other. Uh, organizations that are in Eldalon. It's actually a, a, a really well put together really well put together book and, and and also gives you a lot of other options to expand off of this when you're actually done with you know the, the main plot of the adventure. So but it goes into the different schools of magic that are in the city, population, gives you a lot of good information uh, for and you know this would be good for role playing purposes as well if you're an experienced DM and like I said uh, it does help you as a new DM to learning the you know the unique mechanics that 13th Age has with its with its icons its icon relation die and stuff like that it's really good so uh, it goes into how the you know uh, some of the icons how they are affected in this and then it goes uh, starts off with an encounter now. You will notice with the maps here that these maps already have pre-placed, you know, tokens on them and stuff. You can modify this map. You can basically, you know, if you're a, a, a guru with, you know, say, paint.net or GIMP or Photoshop, you can modify that. You can get rid of all these zombies and other creatures and stuff, and you can make, you know, or you could just bring in your own map altogether. Uh, but... Uh, you do have maps in this, and, and there's also, like I said, there's also a free in-color map pack that we'll take a look at. And all of the monsters in this in this uh, Shadows of Eldalon adventure are unique. So there's monsters that you're not going to see in the core book or the bestiary. You're only going to see them here in Shadows of Eldalon. And if you're like me, and you're a, a GM or DM that loves to have a, a full variety of monsters, you can go ahead and write down, uh, if you keep track of what monsters and what book, like I, I do, instead of saying, oh, I remember I, I remember seeing a, a zombie pumpkin hurler, you know, like, uh, like on this page here. I remember seeing one of those. I usually write those down by level uh, and by, you know, by creature type, so but it really keeps me organized when I'm playing 13th Age, and then anytime I need some, you know, if I'm playing a Halloween one-shot or something like that, then I can, oh yeah, that's right, the zombie pumpkin hurlers, they're in the Shadows of Eldalon on page 14, and then I can just pull that book off my shelf uh, and, and go right in there and read it, so there you go. So more information on, uh, you know, getting the your party, the heroes incorporated into the game, how you can tie their backgrounds and their one unique thing into the story, which are more unique mechanics of 13th Age, and all kinds of magical items uh, that can be rewards. They, they give you them here on the couple pages, and here's the adventure itself, and it just goes into all the different encounters. There's a lot of role play in this. There's a, a lot of there's some mystery as well, and it's actually a really good uh, starting module for level one. Like I said, it's uh, it's really well put together, and it was as we go. There's you know there's plenty of art in the book, lots of information, lots of creatures, and the one thing that you will notice about this about this book that is that. In the other adventures, this was their first ad first printed adventure. You'll notice that they don't give you a a range of party members. Meaning, if you have four first level characters, this is what the encounter would be. Usually, in the other Thirteenth Age books, the public play uh, adventures that they have, the beautiful new massive Underdark adventure by uh, Ash Law that he's doing now for season two of the uh, uh, adventure series for public play. It has all these charts. That if you have a larger party or smaller party, it gives you a chart on how to adjust the encounter for four, five, six, up to even seven players, and up to sometimes even one level lower or even a couple levels higher. So it's really nice. But in this, in this book, it doesn't have it. But that's really no problem. But it does in everything else, like here, uh, the eyes of the stone thief, and and like I said, the other pl public place to play test stuff. It's it's in there. You can see plenty of maps, guys. So don't don't worry about that. All kinds of cool things like gargoyles, ghouls, lots of undead in this. Uh, there is a lot of undead, but you know, in a lot of low level games, undead are what you're gonna fight. So. 
and here's a NPCs. It kind of puts everything back in the back, so if you want to kind of be able to refer to it at the back of the book, you can do it that way. Uh, key locations, NPCs, and here's uh, possible magic items that you can give your players. So if you want some new ideas, then what's in... And there's a lot of magic items. There's a, an entire book of loot. There is a uh, a bunch of items, well, a bunch of powers and chakra ideas, and the core book, the 13th Age, core, uh, 13 True Ways, core book 2, and, you know, and all of the other modules and stuff. So there's all kinds of ideas here, too. So, And that's pretty much it. It's a very short and sweet... Uh, look at the Shadows of Eldalon. Like I said, it's only seventeen ninety five. Uh, it it is very good for uh, new adventurers and Thirteenth Age, and also for new GMs as well. And and it gives you a lot of information on how to incorporate these unique mechanics that you don't see in the other D twenty games. So, but it's uh it's really good. So there you go, guys. I give you a little bit of information without you know really giving you any of the spoilers of the adventure. All right, everybody. So here is the map pack that you get for free for buying the Shadows of Eldalon as well. And it is a, a pretty large PDF. I think there's like 13 pages in it. And it has basically all of the encounter maps that are you know, in the actual module itself. And you can import these into your virtual uh, tabletop if you're using Fantasy Grounds or if you're using Roll20, anything like that. You'll be able to import it in uh, really nicely. So here's a really nice map uh, of Eldalon. It's broken down into the districts, and as you can see, you know uh, the module itself actually gives you some of the locations. But this map is such got got such good detail that you'll be able to flesh this out, to, you know, as as highly detailed as you want. So a lot of farmsteads around, so that could be a lot of uh, other possible uh, you know hook point elements that you could put into your game later on down the line. Now here's the Here's the maps, and as you can see, all of the you know the zombies are here. You can easily take those out. You can just easily use Photoshop, Paint.net, GIMP, any of those programs, and wipe all that clean, and you'll be good to go. As you can see, they're all nice color. They'll uh, enlarge pretty nicely. You can you know do what you want with them. Uh, I definitely uh, have modified these for when I run my 13th Age game. So there you go. These are all of the maps. And it's nice that they give you them in a PDF. So, And then here's the, the Eldolin map that uh, has the key on it with some of the more important locales that are in the city. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like what you see, please uh, like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, happy gaming.